We are here. For businesses with a new idea, finding your way can be tough. This map, made of fabric, is waterproof. Okay, it's go. the idea of two mountain bikers, and backed not by the banks, but by people like you and me. If we just got the money from the bank, we would never have got the feedback that we've got on the products, and we would never have been able to uh, develop it to such a good level that we have now. We could be really proud of this product, and our backers are part of the process of developing that product now. Hampshire-based splash maps are among the first to receive finance using the US crowdfunding website Kickstarter. It's been a huge success in America, funding anything from film to music. It's now catching on here. What is it that we like? What is it that we want to see in the world? It allows many more things to exist and to happen and gives a lot of power to everyone, not just a few people who are deciding what gets made and what doesn't. So how does it work? Well, new ideas like splash maps, they advertise on the internet. People can then go online and pledge money in exchange for a reward, in this case, a map. The business needs to get enough backers before the funds are released. Kickstarter takes up to 10% and the rest of the money goes to the company to help it grow and develop new products. I've actually had a small feeling of ownership or belonging with this product and the other products I've, I've backed as well. Uh, because they, they become slightly more important than something that you go and purchase after it's been created. A recent independent survey indicates that 8 out of 10 loan applications to small businesses are being approved, but figures by the British Banking Association shows that lending fell towards the end of last year. This Reading chocolate manufacturer has been repeatedly turned down by the banks. They too are looking to crowdfunding to raise money for new machinery to help them expand production. Some companies have raised millions and I think that's excellent to get people to donate that amount of money. But having said that, it's lots of people donating small amounts, £5, £10, which is nothing really at the end of the day. Splash Maps didn't even bother to approach the banks for support, but have managed to raise £8,000 over the internet. That's paid for them to attend the outdoors show in London and make a new map covering the South Downs. While some lose their way in an attempt to raise cash, this idea has kept one company firmly on track. Alastair Fee, BBC South Today.